I mean, you're a celebrity, Norty. Over there, bro. Vinny, over there. Uh, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. In studio, Patrice O'Neill. Good very, morning. A I'm very, not a very, very, very funny guy. Good now morning. The, who's playing the Stress Factory all this weekend? Tonight, tomorrow. 732-545-HA-HA. <laughs> H-A-H-A. And the owner of the club is in studio, Vinny. Yes, Vinny Brand, also a comic and a good friend. Thanks very funny know. guy in his own right, yes. And he was making fun of uh, Patrice O'Neill, yeah. basically saying, Patrice, say something because you're not selling tickets. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. I, got, I, can't, I can't figure out how to be a celebrity. Dude, do you, do you know how awful I was? I went on sale at the Bogota. Do you understand that, like, an hour and a half later, there were still 40 tickets left? I'm like, what do I have to do? <laughs> you dick. It's a shame. I've been on. How did, look, if this was the 80s, somebody would know me. No, no one would know you. Not even in the 80s. Oh, look at that awful haircut Vinny has. <laughs> oh, please, they can't oh, see that on the radio. A, that, yes, idiot. they can. They can feel they my pain feel. watching that stupid bowl cut. <laughs> Frankenstein head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Vinny. That really is a prank phone call kind of head. Oh, it's prank call, Mike. Leave me alone with the fucking phone call. Without the phone call, your show sucks. <laughs> That's the owner of the club telling the headliner he stinks. He stinks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to sell the show this week. No, uh, here's the part that bothers me. Patrice is definitely funny. Nobody fucking cares or knows. Whatever he's doing, it doesn't fucking help. I don't get it. I it. do not get it. I'm trying to figure it out. Tomorrow's sold out. We have a Sweet 16 party coming in. 150 people. Great. Are you they'll, serious? They'll never come to the so club So you can again. get sued. Oh, Great. is that the wrong crowd for him? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I wouldn't let him come in. I would not let him come in. There's young girls in that party. Well, there you go. Patrice is not a nice person. It's the best of both worlds. Vinny's a comic and a club owner. This is beautiful. Patrice he has is, an inside track on all the hackness. Patrice has been on a self-destruction mode lately with the clubs, too. I love it. Just chasing people out. Oh, ah, two really, weeks ago. I love it. Uh, two weeks ago, the comic strip. I'm on the show. <laughs> I swear to God, a girl left the, the fucking club crying. Not just crying. She was boo-hooing. She was running out. And her boyfriend like, walking out with no balls whatsoever. You walked how many people that night? One. Two. No. Her. No. Four. All right. There were six people club in the on. audience. Wasn't going to comic mode when we were at the comedy clubs doing comedy. All no right. comic counts that. Patrice Just for that, I'm going to walk the 30 people that's going to show up this weekend. <laughs> and it's it's not a matter of it's not a matter of not being funny. It's just that it's a, they are offended yeah. and upset. <laughs> It's not that the jokes aren't good. It's that he's just a cocksucker, yeah. and nobody likes him. No. That's true. When the people that stay have a great time. I told you I was in the hospital. There was a candlelight visual for my death. They were praying for my death. Outside oh, believe me, as soon as, he, as soon as he woke up, people were like, fuck. <laughs> Fat motherfucker, prayer ain't shit. Oh, you know how many comedy show comics are going, come on. <laughs> Taking bets on my death. No, nah, not me. I'm just paying Why you. Why do you and your friends hate me so much, Vinny? I don't hate you as much as you think. But I am paying you with a check this weekend in case you drop on Monday. <laughs> oh, and you know what's been making me mad? Wow. That cock, this mother, he tried that out on me. <laughs> really? He tried material out on me and then act like that. You never said it? There's yeah, two, we, you, there's you, two you, fucking things I want. Number one, if you drop on Monday, that wouldn't be terrible. And I'd like that little recorder. <laughs> that little fucking Sony recorder. I'd like that to be mine. And, and the funny thing is, I heard it last night when I was there. <laughs> he, he said it again? He, he certainly oh, did. But I need a baseball fucking, bat to the I, back of your head. Come prepared. Oh, oh that, see, that's a tough crowd reference. <laughs> him him and his smarmy friends all used to say uh, I never was prepared for uh, tough crowd. What is Anthony well, Clark well, doing outside the studio? <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know. It's a little scary. Well, Patrice was in the hospital. That's right. You're all good now? Yeah, I mean, Taking you know. care of yourself? Yeah. All right. No, you're not. You're not. You're going to eat like a fucking pig. You have no, no control. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> wow. You no, have no, no fucking Vinny control. Really I'll tell you how I'm going to live. Not eating like that you. awful food at your goddamn place. <laughs> right, you're wrong. That's not, that's fucking wrong. Why don't you wrong. have the guy pick the fries up off the floor again, man? <laughs> <laughs> With his fingers. Look at, his, look at his face trying to laugh, but he's like, come on, dude. Don't mess up my fry business. <laughs> <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> Oh, 100% pure olive oil. Yeah, you Let me tell jack. you, I'll be feeding you fries and wings and all kinds of fat and <laughs> shit. That's and right. I write that check. <laughs> <laughs> Have a fucking order to go. Drink this. What is it? It's just grease. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> It's fucking melted lard with a straw. <laughs> Apply that to your heart and go to sleep. <laughs> this is just awful. Uh, he's just not selling tickets for you, huh, Vinny? No, well, it, it, tomorrow's good. It, tonight will be good. He'll sell tickets tonight. I got to. He, he's. Black people don't reserve in advance. They don't fucking plan. And I'm the only one of one and a half black people, Vinny, 
has in the club. That's I mean, not true. I use Wally Collins, too. That's exactly. half. One and a half. <laughs> <laughs> One and a half black guys a year. Jesus, Vinny. No, nah, that's not true. I use a lot of black comics. Okay, Vinny's got a great like... club. I like Vinny's club. Eh. And the food's yeah. good. Is it not good, Opie? <laughs> eh. <laughs> There's a pay phone on the wall. What are you going to do? <laughs> that fucking phone really rocks you. That really upsets you. You can't follow I a goddamn prank that phone call. Stupid. I don't have to. The middle has to, and I feel bad for him. Vinny N sees it at his own club, and he does a prank call oh. before he uh, leaves the stage. Hello. Yes, Mrs. R. Mrs. R. <laughs> <laughs> This is Johnny from the... This is the police. How many police are in New Brunswick? Every day he's a cop. Hey, I'm, a, I'm a policeman. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Hey, guys, Speaking of mumbling. Thank you. That's uh, Vinny from the Stress Factor. Vinny Brand. Hey, how you doing? You didn't recognize me? No. Are you Look at that trying to care. He yeah, really wants you out of his seat. <laughs> Yeah, Vinny, Vinny, sit in your you, own chair. No, Vinny, you get out of Anthony's seat. You well, who move? told you to sit there? <laughs> we, yeah. we did put you out there on purpose. <laughs> you want your chair back? I'll fucking move. I have to. Oh, Anthony doesn't, know, Anthony doesn't yeah. know what to do with himself when oh. someone's sitting in his seat. Look at Anthony's fresh new gums. <laughs> Mary Jane Rotten Teeth. <laughs> Oh, my God. You feel better? Oh, that's amazing. Sweet. Oh, man. How There's number are you? picture. Ooh, ooh, that doesn't look nice good. Nice and white, though. Which one's the bad one? Both? The second no, one down. Uh, yeah, this, this one. That's this, the bad this one? one? Yeah. Right down there at the oh, bottom. Oh, yeah. I He's <sighs> emailing me, me this. Uh, he missed a nerve. How can he yeah. miss a nerve? Is that a, I, Did he leave it in on purpose, or is that like a mistake? The dentist fucked up. My old dentist must have been a... Um, this this is going to be really fun to talk like this. Uh, he can't feel his bottom jaw. Look at him. My first uh, dentist was a uh, a hack, I guess. Really? Oh. Oof. This guy's good. Is he? Oh yeah. How can well, you tell that this thing? Yeah, well, I was in pain. I'm not. You're not right. I went to him. He's, fantastic. He's the best. <laughs> the pain's gone. He's great. How can yep. you tell that this right here is something? So it looks just like a shadow. He knew. He knows, huh? Yeah. Uh, right. Training. How numb are you? He's a doctor. Oh. Your throat? No, like, like, the whole right side of my bottom jaw, up to, yeah, the back of the jaw, <laughs> not the throat though. Man. Now I gotta go for um root canal. Uh, Oof. right after the show. But wasn't that right a root canal? Door. Oh, you're gonna stay in the city and do it here? Yeah. The specialist? Yeah. Wasn't that a root canal? The, the the thing he's saying is a problem was a root canal? Yeah, but they didn't go far enough down. <clears throat> Twelve years ago when they oh, did gonna, it. You know, it's going to really hurt. Oof. No. Yeah, it's going to really hurt. No, once the nerve is gone, yeah. it's a wrap. Yeah, it's it's gonna gonna hurt. won't hurt. It's I know, gonna, I've had those before. No, it's going to really you're hurt. Not, you're not scaring me. <laughs> I've had them before. You've had them? Gee, I've Anthony, had... listen, listen to me. Yeah. Crest? I understand. <laughs> Listerine, just something. Do something to your mouth. Will you just? I I understand. I've had a couple of root canals. You know, you joke about piss, but it really does clean you right out. Doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Nor does it complain. No. Cling. <laughs> no cavities uh, ever. I had one. That's why yeah. I really I'm joking with you because you're in yeah. pain. You have to. But you know, I I uh, you know I had mine happen in in like I was out of the country at some third world country and I had oh, one geez. of those in Brazil, right? Yep. Is oh, that what I was with boy. You or? Oh, yeah, like f three in the morning. I went to like one of those favelas, those uh, the city of God to have them. <laughs> I went Are to the you? city of God yeah. and had them. <laughs> little dice like this. <laughs> little dice. Little dice was digging a hole in my mouth. <laughs> I went there. It was it was like three in the morning, and I found a dead. I had to. It, oh. was, it was that much pain. L Z D T S. No Novocaine, right? Just no cocaine. So, uh, yeah, coke. Just rub coke on your <laughs> rub gum. Coke. And Go right down to the uh, Monte Carlo. Instrument. <laughs> they distract you. A little poor boy tries to steal your wallet. When you go, hey, they just fucking pull your tooth out. <laughs> you have to have the doctor fill out a form to ask if he has AIDS. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, country. God. You only have one cavity in your life? One, yeah. Wow. wow. That's the genetics, but I got high blood pressure. Yeah, I was gonna say you didn't take care of anything else. That's the, that's the, you know. <laughs> and the cough in your teeth are gonna look great. Look at his teeth; they're fucking beautiful. Beautiful. His heart's enlarged, but his teeth are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> look how big his.
his heart is. But she's always had a big heart. <laughs> you missed out. These two have been just going at it. Yeah. Because he owns the club, uh -huh. and he's not selling tickets for him this weekend. Oh, my God. So oh, they're just boy. killing each other. Oh, boy. Patrice, but, but here's that's, uh, Vinny, the stress factor this, this is Vinny who tells me, ah, no, ah, ah, this is Vicious. April's the worst. Ah, hey, who? April's the worst time in a month. It's just the worst time of the year. That's why I book you and then put pressure on you. Why don't you book famous people, you jackass? I book me in the good months. I thought you had a shot. You have well, no well, shot. Well, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> that awful racist community you live in. <laughs> yeah, New Brunswick, known for not liking black people. <laughs> they don't. New Brunswick, you Newark, said... Camden, they all hate black They're people. They're known for black people being there, but not oh. for liking them. <laughs> Well, maybe those two things go hand in hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, look at Vinny upset about the fries. Vinny, don't worry. <laughs> not upset about the fries. He has delicious fries in the back. They are fucking good Vinny's, fries. I, I will say, all kidding aside, Vinny's food is good, and if you don't like it going down, believe me, three hours later, it's great coming up. <laughs> uh, how much of my food has been shit under your chest? <laughs> wow! <laughs> what the, funny, the funniest part of that joke is he thinks I'm a rookie and I wasted on the chest. <laughs> what am I, an open mic or something? His chest was two years ago. <laughs> Passe. <laughs> oh, shit on the chest is so 98. <laughs> so, oh, God. Shit on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should headline your own club this weekend. I, I should. Patrice. Weekend. He does tickets. quite often. Yeah. Yes, he does. All right. Maybe it'll snow tonight. Patrice, you'll get off her uh, <laughs> That is the worst, though, when you headline. I was in, when I, all, all the time, except for this last time I did okay in Baltimore, but every other time I've just, I've had 30 people there on a Saturday, and you just look at the Ooh. staff. What are you talking about? Like, when, you, when you're in a club, if it's empty, which I, the Baltimore improv for me has been brutal yeah. a couple times. Oh, well, are you on in Baltimore? Now, show? now we are. It's okay. Yeah, the that's why they don't work. show up. No, if you're not, if anywhere that they're not, don't listen to red. Who knows you, stupid? That's what I'm saying. You're that's about true. as unknown as me if it wasn't for Obi and Anthony. That's not true. You, Jack, he did Spider Man. He we did no, the no. movie Spider Man. I mean, I, could, I couldn't be as unknown as you. <laughs> 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 He's six foot eight and invisible. Actually, I think no one knows me unless I did the opening. I'm unknown. In the 80s, I'd be somebody. It's amazing how... Why do you why keep you saying in the, the 80s? Because they... What do you hacks in the, in the 80s? 80s? I'm saying... Are you a this, hack? The things... I, the, wait, wait, this is people in the business talking. <laughs> <laughs> I've, done, I've done four movies. I've been on mm. Conan O'Brien about six times. Now, you sound like a whiny bitch right now. Yes. You're real. You I'm sound a, terrible. What? Just I'm start saying funny shit. Maybe tickets. people will come see you. I'm trying to sell tickets to your stupid head club, Vinny. Yeah, are you wait, wait. Have you done six corners? You sound like you're begging. About six. Who's I'm booking that? Who's booking Conan? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the awful comedian Who's interruption. Who's booking Who's behind Damn it. <laughs> I'm not whining. I'm just saying. Now, you know? people know you're selling tickets. I'm really busting your balls. It's going to be big. I know what your stupid hair do. Just <laughs> shut up. That's, that's... Was that Dr. A barber too at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> like, Root canal and trim, you jackass. <laughs> I, I don't, there's nothing wrong with Vinny's haircut. If you're on a stage singing, put on the ribs, there's nothing wrong <laughs> with that. <laughs> you really do have a hat head. <laughs> I can't believe I'm watching a fucking dying boy. Black man, give him dental advice, and you give me hair advice. <laughs> fucking, what, what is the upside down about this fucking world? You have no head to speak of. God Almighty! Before you insult me, can you just pick up a receiver? <laughs> <laughs> it makes no. It says unless you pretend you're a cop. Hey, uh, Norton, Leo Ball. Here's two free tickets. Y'all ready to laugh? Oh. <laughs> Seven three two five four five four two four two for tickets. Thank you, Jim. Ha ha. At the stress factor. There you go. Yeah, stress factor. It's gonna tickets, be good. Man. It's gonna be very. We good. have a very special. Yeah, sounds convincing, Vinny. No, well, let me tell you something. It's Jesus. actually, it's a good show. Big Jay is also very fucking funny. Yes, Jay is. He killed last night. Jay, Jay. Ogerson is a very funny dude. Yeah. As much as I find him annoying off stage with his <laughs> awful fat face and smoking habits. <laughs> <laughs> Between Jay and Patrice, this is the fattest show I've ever booked. <laughs> I fucking really. I'm really scared of the food bill this night. <laughs> I can't eat food at your place no more, man. It's a wrap. You can. No. Even, oh. You even fry your lettuce. <laughs> <laughs>
Give me a fried Greek cleaner. Oh. Give me a fried, a fried Caesar salad. <laughs> Vinny dips his Caesar salad in flour. <laughs> Ain't right. Ain't right with your son about my food. You're cutting below the belt. Oh, right there. Sorry. <laughs> Folks, it's the delicious fried he Caesar. Takes pride <laughs> in, he takes pride in his food there, Patrice. Please. Uh, <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> I, I, we've just been doing this for an hour. Just uh, we gave right. up on the show, I think, at eight thirty. Anthony's a trooper. Another, another hour of uh, <laughs> Betty Davis mouth over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, I can't feel a man. thing. I know I'm just gonna wrench down on my tongue and have to go to the emergency room. Did he give you pills, like some pills for today? No, nah, I gotta go uh, fill a prescription. <clears throat> but that'll 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 <laughs> prescription. <laughs> Will that stay right for you till the end of the show, at least? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Let's ask Anthony. So they say... For the next thanks, old soul. What was that thing Mary Poppins said? <laughs> yeah. Super califragilistic. <laughs> Maybe I should come back and sit in that chair, because you really can't <laughs> yeah, contribute yeah, right now. I really can't do shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Where's Bonnie? <laughs> Where's Bonnie? That's <laughs> Bonnie. The My fiance. <laughs> My kind of lover. That <laughs> fucking worm voss. We were doing Albany together, and that phone rang 30 times, and that cocksucker picked it up every time. He's, he's, so, he's He pets. has changed. Voss has yep. changed, man. We've seen it. We've seen but it. But he changed. Seriously. You know what? He changed her. If you know her. Yeah. She he changed her too, man. He, really? She's not. It's not just like Voss is in love. They're both like in yeah. this weird love, and I think because they, they're both degenerates, and this is their first time that they've been loving to yeah. another human being, and they just they're losing. They're really their minds. running with it. <clears> I can't yeah. wait till she dumps him. <laughs> oh, she's she got to wait for some more change. Oh, she's got to wait for Vault to make her funny. He <laughs> would be heartbroken. What I can't wait is till they fire him from the show they have together. Oh, and keep her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And she'll have to go, look, I love you, but I have to think of myself, but, too. It's for oh. us. I'll do it for us. Uh, I tell you, I, gave, I thought it's lasting a long time so far. Yeah. I thought it'd be over, by, but, you know. No. I'll be there well, to pick him up. Don't worry, yeah. Vossie. All his friends. I don't know Bonnie that well, but Voss is in love. He really Voss is, in is love. really in love. It makes me sick. Oh, it's but he's awful. 57. <laughs> he, got his, he got his credit just cleared up. He bought his first house connected to another house. <laughs> he, bought his, he bought his first town. I own my townhouse apartment. <laughs> Siamese home. Fucking zilch. <laughs> Get someone a yard. You're 80. <laughs> Jesus Christ, but you're, you're rented home. Disguises oh, ownership, you idiot. You know, there's wheels on it in case yeah. I want to move it. Or, or, anybody want to buy my Rolex? Oh, you j- jerk off. <laughs> oh, he's all happy he just got credit at 57. <laughs> just got it. <laughs> first love and first girl. Voss is out of high school. He's 42 years removed from everything. He's the only guy that had his children co sign for his townhouse. <laughs> Uh, uh, date of birth of coast of signee eighty six one four eighty six. I'm gonna ask Bonnie to wear my pin. Uh, uh, will you marry me? As he bought her a second hand yep. wedding ring or fian- not a good deal. It makes me sick. Did you hear his awful proposal story? It was in a Best Western. Like near Newark Airport, because they they flew it. Oh, it's it's fucking. <laughs> yeah. After he Joel Steinberg was yeah. more romantic yeah. when he was fucking chaining little Lisa to the <laughs> thing and punching head on the throat. <laughs> did you hear? What he, you hear what he said to her? Did you hear? What, he, he handed her the box and said. He, wo- he turned around and walked away and said, you can say no if you want to. How fucking sad. <laughs> Romantic. How fucking unbelievably sad. Uh, what a low self You think he was the same size kneeling down asking to marry his wife? <laughs> 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 his little fingers putting the ring on. Yeah. Oh, the awful hand. <laughs> she probably jumped twice before she said, oh, all right, I do. Just don't touch me no more. Don't. All right, all right. Yes. Oh. He has awful <laughs> claymation hands. They don't bend. They dolphin. Fingers. Just leave the ring on the oh, pillow. I'll grab it. I can't wait until Bonnie leaves him. I just can't wait. <laughs> All curled up in the shower and washing off. And <laughs> Trying to hold his face with his little Davy and Goliath fingers. <laughs> Back to the pipe. Back to gambling. Back to booze. Oh, cool. I cannot wait till Voss is back. Put him right over the, the, uh, the, the sells top. Sells his house for uh, <laughs> sells his house for 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 a hit. <laughs> <laughs> sells that connected to another house <laughs> mansion. Hey Patrice, I think I found out why people don't like you. You're not nice. <laughs> You're not a fucking nice guy. 
<laughs> like, you don't have a nice thing going on. Uh, one of my favorite tough crowd moments was awful Patrice. <laughs> Jeff Garland was on the show, oh. and, and <laughs> Jeff said some joke that just bombed, and Patrice is like, you're on a fucking improv show, and that's the funniest thing you can say? <laughs> and Jeff just spoke character. goes, what, are you going to fucking bust my balls? <laughs> oh, I hate that Fred Flintstone head. He doesn't really bug me. Every time I see a smarmy giant oh. head. <laughs> Oh, makes you, want, makes you want to try to get candy out of it, that fat, <laughs> hit it with a broomstick. <laughs> you don't curb your enthusiasm, really. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that makes me laugh it's about as much as a lamp. I've never seen it. I've At never seen once, the show. by mistake, I think. Was it, was it overrated? Was working except for HBO. Is it overrated? Oh, whatever, man. You know, you can't even talk about certain things in your careers over people. Oh, it's a curb your boo. Oh, I never saw Whatever. <laughs> that moon head. I like to shove his head right in the toilet like Mickey Rourke. <laughs> 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 uh, Patrice O'Neill is going to be playing Vinny's Club this uh, weekend, yeah. Stress Factor. What's the number again there, Jimmy? So, uh, so, so, and I like the way Vinny did this because what happens is you incorporate part of the mood into the phone number, uh, which is uh, I, which I thought was just a super idea. It's 732-545. Ha, ha. That's like, that's like a hospital going, call us at one seven four three. Ow! One eight hundred. That's <coughs> one four one four. And leave off the last tumor for savings. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it, it, five four five four two four two, but that comes in a ha ha ha. That, that, that is ha, ha. absolutely what fantastic. a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> I paid extra for that. Yeah, and he fought hard for that. We said, we well, we got giggle, giggle. Do you want that one? No, no, it's got to be ha ha. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> you way too many numbers. <laughs> hey, when Keith Robinson works it, you have to change the 545-ZZ-ZZ. <laughs> <laughs> That's another black guy I use, by the way. That's two oh, yeah. and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half black guys. They're, oh, they're doing... Oh, this I love this. I'm in the stress factor. I stopped by this. I'm pissing. And I look on the wall, and they have advertisers for shows coming up. And Vinny and Keith Robinson are doing a Father's Day show. What's it called? Father's Day in black and white. Father's Day in black and white, yeah. Oof. Like one black guy, one white guy. You know, both dads, probably different points of view. Oh, sure. And fucking Keith's credits. It says, this fucking finished idiot. Hammer it, you fucking moron. Hammer it. Next <laughs> Thursday. Keith. I've already sold more seats than you, you cocksucker. That's, it's a great. I have a fucking 150 on the book for Thursday. Oh, That's a great man. show. Thank but, you. But Keith's credits on that fucking wall, I wanted to throw that paper into the urinal. He said he was on Star Search a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago? Did it really yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like, Keith is this up-and-comer. Uh, Keith is 46 it. years old. <laughs> it's, the, it's the new one on PAX. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> we still have his headshot that says Pudge him on it. Fucking oh. Keith's first sets now are on the Game Show Network. He is fucking oh. an old Finnish man. He really is an old man now. Oh. Oh. That credit list is awful. <laughs> you, you, you look at all these impressive credits, and then you realize, oh, those are the people he's open for. I told you, every, every time Keith's on stage, after he finishes a joke, he reintroduces himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big MC. You do. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. That's brutal. Hey. <laughs> Anthony, you all right over there? Oh, yeah. Look at his geeks yeah. just wiggling his tongue around him. <laughs> I, I just, it, it's like stroke face. <laughs> and the, the, the worst part is I know it's going to wear off. When's your, and the pain well, will come back. Would, how long do you say it would stay? Two least hours. Until you get to the, to the other place, yeah, you, right? get, you go to the other dentist, right? Yeah, but <laughs> that wears off, too. Mm. I got it. Uh. Yeah, but when there's no nerve, man, if they get the nerve out, you will, You can't feel anything. Yeah. It's not going to exist. The pain is going to be gone. I think the penicillin's got to kick in. You get pain medication, in. though, from the other place. They'll prescribe yeah, something. Yeah, you get fine, you'll, you'll be Vicodin. fine, man. You're fine. Vicodin. Tell them to take that nerve out, Anthony. Get it out, and then you'll be out. Out. Let's go to Mark. Yep. Mark, what's up, buddy? Not much. I'm wondering if Jimmy Norton, when you call a hooker, do you dial 1 800 ho ho? I wouldn't have mind. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have minded so much if you didn't call her a hoker, you fucking idiot. A hoker. A hoker. <laughs> Are you a hoker? I just thought I was saying right. <laughs> oh, that poor guy was waiting for hours for that. Oh, he was. Uh, <laughs> that's a, I'm going to crack them all up. <laughs> They're going to love this. <laughs> Hey, we got to uh, we got to do a live read for Paisano of Mulberry oh. Street in the heart of Little Italy. 
Patrice, you do it. <clears throat> hey. Hold on, I, gotta, I can't read right away. Why not? I'd have to think first and then read. Like the song says, you'll love Paisano. A great restaurant <clears throat> right in the heart of Little Italy. Try Paisano of Mulberry Street. Huge portions. Joey feeds us all the time. Yeah? Yeah, remember we went? You went? Well, it, had, it was delicious. All right, good. The they classic great uh, moulignon there. <clears throat> delicious <laughs> baked moulignon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> fried moon cricket. <clears throat> Paisano is a classic candlelit restaurant, perfect for late night date or romantic meals. Every single pasta on the menu is now under ten dollars. At Paisano, mention XM Radio for a free glass of wine. Authentic Italian cuisine made from the original old Italian recipes and fun and romance of Italy in a friendly restaurant. That's Paisano! Open weekends till 2 a.m. Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy between Grand and Hester. Plenty of niggas there. <laughs> Enjoy Paisano's! Only Patrice can make a phone number. You didn't give like a Popeye's head. <laughs> Believe me, the phone call's going to come. Great show. Don't ever let him read that again. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of them there. A lot of people are Get not happy. Get out the phone number for Paisano. People want to oh, you know, make sorry, reservations. Call, I'm, I apologize, Paisanos. Yeah. Call 212-965-1188. That's 965 965- Ha ha! Two one two nine six five one one eight eight for a delicious meal at Paisano's. And remember, mention XM Radio for a free glass of wine. Oh, that's yeah. right. And that is, they have to buy a meal, or you just come in, say XM, and get a free wine, and you can leave. You can leave. I guess that's good luck leaving. Though. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, <laughs> good luck <laughs> leaving. <laughs> I might have a little problem. A little we'll problem at the door, but yeah, I guess if you want to, you could try leaving. We have Dee Dee back on the phone. Dee Dee. Uh, good morning. Did you just listen to the last half hour? Um, actually, I was doing reports, so I couldn't. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so uh, uh, Dee Dee called back, Anthony, because she has that karate uh, story. Yeah. Now, you went out with a karate guy. Yeah, I was on a date with a karate guy. We went to dinner, and then we went back to his place hanging out. And he um, said, hey, want to see this routine I can do? And so he got out, like, these nunchucks and started doing this routine, and they kind of slipped out of his hand, bopped me in the head, and I ended up in the hospital with a concussion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and pregnant. <laughs> I, I blacked out there. <laughs> That's the fifth girl he's done that to this month. <laughs> Clumsy instructor. Yeah, so needless to say, I never went out with him again. Mm. How was it? We teased yeah, this all morning. Yeah, man, dude, I ended up in the hospital. I didn't like that date. Yeah, I got hit in the head, and it wasn't ha- it wasn't a fun night. Was was it at the stress factory <laughs> at three in the morning? No. Yeah, was Master Poe there disabling you with a ballpoint pen? <laughs> <laughs> Maniac. Uh, you had, you had to fill out the paperwork, Vinny? Uh, no, I haven't done that yet. But Master Poe showed us at four o'clock in the morning how a common ballpoint pen could disable an entire Iraqi army <laughs> <laughs> in the hands of a Master Poe trained fucking lunatic. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. That dude is. Uh, I seen uh, the, vi- the video on uh, you know Foundry. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Him just yeah. doing his yeah. thing, yeah. but not quite. You know he's serious, but he, he really didn't do anything but move his hands fast. But yeah. you just know there's if, something serious going on. There. Yeah, if he wants to kill you, it's Oof. over. Yeah, bare hands. Now, did she wake well, up with those yeah. nunchucks somewhere? Yeah, yeah pose dangerous. I'm sorry, what? I, I'm saying that I buy sex toys, and I was wondering, <clears throat> can I use nunchucks? <laughs> did he hear her? She just went, <gasps> nunchucks? Nun- is it nunchucks? Numchucks. Numchucks. Patrice. Num? You fucking trainable. I think it's, it's nunchucks. nunchucks. I think it's nunchucks. <laughs> I got money on that. It's not numchucks. It's nun- well, whatever they are, they hit me Numchucks with an M. Eh. I don't know, actually. Patrice, this is a dirty <clears throat> girl you're talking to, Dee Dee. I'm is not she? dirty. I'm are you filthy, filthy sweetness? Yeah, she used to bang the uh, UPS guy. Mm, you're a filthy, dirty little oh, thing, yeah. aren't you? That's right. Invited him in for uh, You ever use a uh, glass dildo, sweetie? Mm. A glass dildo? No. Mm, delicious. Yeah, Patrice has $10,000 worth of dildos. <laughs> okay. And a sex swing. And I'll tie, em, I'll tie two together and hit you in the head with it. Holy <laughs> oh. Like you like, bitch. <laughs> you didn't tell him that I like dominant, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She likes to, get to be slapped around and yeah. delicious. You're a white girl, right? Yeah, can you oh, tell? That's uh, <laughs> that's my uh, reparations. <laughs> oh. Apologize, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice will slap you and fuck you while humming Lead Belly songs. <laughs> 
way down upon the swamp. Open your mouth, boy. It's like, it's like a fish hook you. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> <laughs> We've been the old Aldean. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Put this straw in your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Put this hay straw in your mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, yeah, that was my date with the karate guy. Right. Yeah. Delicious. Well, that's, that's that was cool. She you think? A, no. Quite a few. Do you have stories. something else? <coughs> what? Do you have anything else? Um, not right now because I gotta get to another report. Oh, traffic. She does traffic for XM. See, if I was just with you guys, then it would be easier. But I gotta do traffic. Dallas today. I'm doing Dallas. Are you kegeling? <laughs> 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 you doing the Kegels so you can continue to get those nunchucks in without a problem? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Yeah. Patrice is really funny. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What? Patrice is really funny at 545. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on down. Oh, by the way, I got to plug a gig. I'll be in Boston at the Comedy Connection April 29 and 30. I don't have a number. Just figured I'd throw it out there and wreck everybody's. The Comedy mm-hmm. Connection in Boston. Yes. Next. And Patrice is going to be at Stress Saturday. Factory this weekend. Tonight and tomorrow. Vinny's Club in uh, New Brunswick. <clears throat> What's today's uh, date? Because they might hear this on replay tomorrow and then think it's Saturday, Sunday. The 15th. Today's tax day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. oh tax day. That's great. Not People are going to be ready to laugh tonight. Why would you remind them it's tax day, Vinny? Everyone Why are you trying to sabotage your own club? Uh, no, nah, it doesn't matter. Wait, you do, uh, damn it. People your taxes there up? Yeah, someone did them. Every... <laughs> Did you sign something? Oh, yeah, I signed some stuff. Patrice yeah. swears on the write-in he doesn't sign his tax returns. He said he just, someone no. else does it. Yeah, that, you know. And black people <laughs> wonder why they but can't you have gotta, property. you got to <laughs> sign it. Oh, no, he didn't send it to I do them quarterly. I I don't oh. know about that April 15th I quarterly, and I sign them. You still them. have to do a year-end return. You don't return. have to have... First of all, why am I discussing government issues over the radio so they that can come get stupid. me? stupid. But I, I don't... <laughs> look, I do quarterly. I, I already did my taxes for this quarter. I'm going to do it again. I, I, I have a business, Vinny. But, but there's an end to, of the year Yeah, there's an end of the year. That you must fill out. That do March already, 15th. I already did that. So you're trying to say you haven't you done your you taxes can, no, no, in no. five years? You can do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but he has $10,000 in dildos. You can do it before. Do it before. To get done. I do it quarterly. Yeah, you do it but before the 15th. You don't have 15th, to do it. There's the big... Right. The big thick But you can return. have it in before April okay. 15th. So sure. I get mine in like so you February. Did it early. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, that's there you go. You didn't say that. You could see me at the stress factory <laughs> I'm headlining, and I dare the IRS to come and look at my books. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, hey, Norton, I heard you bought like a $2 million um, <laughs> oh, God, studio no. or something like that. <laughs> no. I, I actually, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to close on it because the guy is trying to back out of it, so I'm still renting. Ooh. But uh. you're paying cash, right? For, can you yeah, give me a thing, Opie? <laughs> Just when he, buys, when he buys his small $10 million fire him when he, <laughs> on the 45th floor, yeah. can you threaten to fire him every other day so he can <laughs> contemplate suicide? I'd freak out. I, I, I would contemplate suicide, actually. <laughs> is it contemplate? Of course it is. <laughs> Fucking Fred Merch. <laughs> Uh, All these years of picking really content. Am <laughs> content. <laughs> what years of picking content? Lord, this content is. I'm tired of picking content. <laughs> oh, I'm an ass. I really am a fucking stereotype. <laughs> Dee Dee, what are you doing this weekend? Um, this weekend, my parental units are in town from mm-hmm. Chicago. Okay. I'm spending time with mom and dad. Oh, mom and dad from Chicago. Yeah, they were here yesterday and they saw you, that poster board of you guys. Uh-huh. They're like, oh, are those the guys I talked with? I'm ah. Like, yeah. So, they're like, cool. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, back to traffic. Yeah. That's yeah, too bad. You got nothing. You have nothing today, I'm Didi. sorry. <laughs> today I have to deal with traffic. All right. I got to do my job. Well, we're going to let you be. Uh. <laughs> All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend. That's right. All right. Traffic on the LIE. Uh, there's a severed head in the shoulder, and cats in the cradle is blasting out of the car. <laughs> oh, that's an ancient reference. Of course it is. I, uh, I don't want to leave without Jimmy reading this fun story before All right. the weekend. So, <clears throat> What is it? This Which is one a is great it? story. Okay. Uh, oh. My ex-boyfriend <clears throat> accused of causing miscarriage. This is a go-getter. This guy is a problem solver. (laughs) Uh, A pregnant Springfield Township woman told authorities she received a text message on her cell phone last week from her former boyfriend. It read, 
have a miscarriage. <laughs> Less than a week later, Lucas County Sheriff's detective said the former boyfriend made it happen. <laughs> 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 This guy is accused of forcing his way into uh, his girlfriend's uh, apartment on Monday, punching her several times in the <laughs> stomach, and sexually assaulting her. Jesus! Look at me! Oh, no, no! <laughs> He's a family man, dude! Wait. Yeah. Well, uh, Alright, well, uh, let me rephrase that. He was accused of uh, breaking in and uh, taking charge. <laughs> uh, he was accused of breaking in and getting results. Uh, Solving a problem. <laughs> Uh, as a result of the attack, detectives said the woman suffered a miscarriage of her 10-week-old fetus. Authorities arrested him. He's six foot four, 290 uh, pounds, and he's in jail, and um, he is in a lot of trouble. Man, what a set. <laughs> To text first. Yeah. Have a miscarriage. Because yeah. you know, at no. one point he like fucked it up. He probably put uh, I have, and he's gonna go, oh shit, that's an H, <laughs> not an I. <laughs> oh man. Have a miscarriage. She didn't. He gave her a yeah. couple of days. And then uh, made things happen. <laughs> I like that. Thought I told you to have a miscarriage. Go. <laughs> Don't listen. He walked in, looked at the linoleum. What is not on this floor? <laughs> oh, I, <know>. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a stewed tomato in the toilet <laughs> by noon. Or I'll be paying you a little visit. <laughs> Look Norton. Norton is as happy as I've ever seen him. Oh, Norton. Norton. oh my Norton God. Norton could be happier. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Oh. You turn, Jeez, a stew tomato. You turn bright red. Come on, man. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, that, oh, that is exactly. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, the... oh. <laughs> Damn. A little tear and a flush. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, you can't be that connected to it, baby. It's ten weeks. <laughs> really? Get over oh. it. I mean, those little... Jesus. It's not like you hear mama before it just oh. sucks down the pipe. Oh, my God. Last oh. little sight you see of it. Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> Why? Why? The show was going so nice. <laughs> oh, we were having such a good time. Oh. Dude, to me. Oh. Oh. Patrice O'Neill tonight and tomorrow. Stress Factory, 732-545-4242. With a special guest this evening. With uh, Big J Okerson. Uh, it's a great show, man. You guys are idiots if you don't and know. And a very special guest tonight. And a very special guest. Yes. Oh. We're not allowed to mention the special guest tonight. I'm going to laugh for hours at that stewed tomato. <laughs> God, that was perfect. Because a stewed tomato sounds like it would have uh, a fat kerplunk <laughs> into it. <laughs> have a little as blast <laughs> radius <laughs> when it hits. As you look like stewed cauliflower. <laughs> you look like something that can flush down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Vinny, anything? Oh, I just think that that was brutal. But the uh, funny. Get the video camera before you flush. That's it. Oh, he's all hurt. You big No, no, old. no. Listen, I'm not hurt at all. That's fucking funny. That's just back of the bus shit. I can't do that. Why? All uh, right. I get it. All right. Son of a bitch. What? Back of the bus. We had to curse yeah. him out about being funny because he likes to hang out with these unfunny guys. Uh, I don't know. But you see what him. happens. You see what happens? You hang yeah. out with unfunny guys and you get a conscience. Leave him alone. <laughs> stupid. Stop trying to cut your hair like you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Norton. Say it. I don't like that. You, 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 you can't even get bangs with that thing. It's like they're trying to be bangs. <laughs> I can't fucking believe you. I know Vinny. a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> I hear you do quite the impression of me, Vinny. <laughs> you can call uh, me what you want, but don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> five, four, five. Oh, get back. Ah, Thank you. <laughs>